Nestled in the Ozark Mountains, just outside Eureka Springs, Arkansas, is a prehistoric theme park. It was something different. It was something special. It was unique. Winding gravel roads crisscross Spider Creek, taking visitors on a drive through the wilderness. It was like going into a different era. Lining the route, sculptures of dinosaurs. No animatronics or laser light shows here, but a simple trip, inspiring imagination, creativity, and interaction. It's always been fun. When Wanda I Kurtzman first brought her nine-year-old son to the park in 1971. And, uh, of course, it was a big, exciting thing. Dinosaurs, they were concrete. You could touch them. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Wayne Farwell's father, Ira, originally opened Dinosaur Park in the late 1960s. I mean, that was just kind of a hobby for him. Emmett Sullivan made the park's sculptures. The same man who created Eureka Springs' 67 foot tall Jesus. And after the uh, Christ of the Ozarks was completed, why, Emmett went to work for my dad in building Dinosaur Park. And Farwell ran the park until 1980 when he sold well, he it. He was getting old and he could see the writing on the wall. The new owner renamed it the Land of Kong <laughs> to cash in on the recent King Kong remake. King Kong. A fantastic adventure. He thought it just would fit in good with the theme with the dinosaurs and, and things to have King Kong there, and he thought that the public would like that. It would be something they could relate to. I thought we had a better name for it, so I think. The name endured, and in 1984, a 42-foot-tall King Kong went in. Then a decade later, another movie inspired another name change. It's a Jurassic Park. And in 1995, it became Dinosaur World. Oh, it had its heyday. Now, like the sculptures on site, this park is extinct. The gates closed in 2005. Kind of sad to think that it is closed down. Visitors need to stay outside, but you can still see the big spider at the gate and catch glimpses of the dinosaurs through the trees. Even today, when I drive past them, I check on the dinosaurs, make sure they're still there. It was a dream of my dad's, and... Uh, He'd be saddened if he was alive now and he knew it was closed up. Now old road signs still direct tourists to the park. The sign is still there and probably always will be at this rate. But when visitors get there, the signs are less inviting. Then all of a sudden, it's no longer here. Recent nostalgia has brought new interest to the gates with some blogs and a local film. There are freaking dinosaurs. People around here are still very fond of them. But for now, Dinosaur World remains a roadside attraction that's just a memory. In Carroll County, Arkansas, Doug Magdich, KSPR News.